three years ago this was uh, just grass and blackberries when I first started and the intent was to make something more interesting for the wildlife and to create some wetland type features. Uh, this draw here was um, dug out of the, of the terrace and it creates a wet spot for some wetter species that were planted. And then through irrigation, we were able to get uh, some uh, wetland type plants growing up here above the creek. And then down on the slopes uh, towards the creek, we had planted mostly uh, plants that really liked the wetland or the wet soils. Uh, got a little uh, Japanese knotweed, knotweed growing here, so we need to get rid of that. This section of stream has been our focus for providing more diverse habitat for the fish. It's a nice little piece. It has nice gravels in the bottom. It has good shade. But uh, the thing that it lacked was uh, deep pools or places for the fish in the winter to get out of the fast flow of the stream. So we added these logs. We shipped them in from elsewhere. A big excavator put them in place and they've created the, the gravel bars, the deep pools, the places where fish can uh, hide out um, from predators and, and find cover. And we have a series of these log structures, there's three of them within this 200 foot reach. And we're using this as an example of how city streams can be improved uh, for fish, where you don't have to worry too much about flooding each side of this creek. Uh, of course, these logs take up some room in the stream. And you don't want to force the water into somebody's basement. But this section here was, uh, we were able to show that it, it didn't matter if the stream water uh, rose when these logs were in place. In this stream, uh, we know that cutthroat trout spawn in rear and possibly uh, steelhead. I uh, haven't seen any steelhead still headed up this far in, in a number of years, but there's stories about people that would observe them spawning. Well, before this, these logs were put in, uh, this was a pretty shallow stream. It was just a layer of gravel. The water wasn't much more than six inches. And that was one of the problems with the trout. They uh, didn't have any deep pools to, to hide in in the summer. After putting these logs here, what we now have is a, a very deep pool at the downstream hot side, some deep pools right in the middle of the jam, and some nice spawning gravels right above that the, the logs have trapped. When the high water comes up, this actually turns into a big lake and uh, it provides a lot of living space for the fish. They can get out of the high velocity water and move off to the side and even find food there to eat. These uh, types of structures were common in the streams before uh, things were disturbed by people. Um, we've walked the length of the stream and there's no other natural jams like this, but it, it doesn't take much to create them. You just bring the logs in and, and place them and then stabilize them a bit and it works pretty good. The project had a bumpy beginning. Um, being a city stream, it has flows that are higher than normal. Uh, the pavement in the upper watershed causes the peak flows in this stream to be about three times as what it used to be. So the city has a lot of concerns about not flooding out people who live nearby. And this was actually a good area to, to put logs in streams because there's nothing around here to flood but it required a change in city code to be able to do this project. So we worked uh, over a year on getting that process through. The actual construction of the, of the structure you know, was just a, a half a day for the three structures down through here. And the expense was pretty reasonable. These will last probably uh, oh, 50 years or so. 
and uh, they're secure and they won't be moving very far downstream. Uh, the trick is to have them long enough so that when the high water comes they naturally get jammed into the, the stream banks. And by putting them together as groups of four or five, they actually are more stable than if single logs were used. And the groups of logs also help with creating the deep pools underneath. So th this is a good example of uh, what we're shooting for. Mm -hmm.